Well, good morning, and you have drawn me back down with Syndicate Water again in search of some more carp. And I came down here probably three or four days ago, did a little bit of pre baiting, put about three, four kilo of boilies in. And the idea today is to just do a morning session. Basically, I'm going to be here through bite time, which is normally around four o'clock till about 11 o'clock. So I've got probably three, four hours fishing. And at the moment, I haven't seen any fish because when I got here half an hour ago, it was, it was fairly dark, so I couldn't really see much. But the idea is I'm just going to fan all three rods on a spot and hopefully catch a carp because the lake hasn't been fishing that well at the moment. We've had some really high pressure and I spoke to a couple of lads and they've told me not much has come out of the lake at all. I've been getting the odd fish here and there, but in general, I've had a break from the lake for a week or so and I thought I'll come down, do a bit of pre-baiting, you know, nice bit of prep before I turn up and basically be here through bite time because I've caught nothing in my sessions throughout the evening times and I thought, you know, do something different, have a sort of short morning session. So. I've just turned up here now, I'm going to set all my rods up, get all my bits together. Basically I'm going to be casting single hook baits out to the area and hopefully we can catch a carp. So regarding the rigs and the bait approach, like I say, I've done a bit of pre-baiting, came here three days ago, put three or four kilo of boilies in, and all I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be casting single hook baits onto the spot. I'm not putting any bait in. Yeah, I was tempted to put a little bit of bait in, but with it being early morning, you know, sun, sun's just starting to rise. I'm literally just gonna cast three single hook baits on the area and the arrangement is basically I've got a three foot lead core leader. I've got a, got a two and a half ounce lead just there. And I've got the bead probably six inches away. It's pretty standard for what I do in my fishing. You know, the silt's fairly deep, but it's, it's not too bad to be honest. It's, it's bearable. And the rig arrangement, same as always, the Ronnie spinner rig. And I have got a 25 pound bit of fluorocarbon there, if that will zoom in. Uh, crank hook on this particular one I've actually got a fluoro on and on the other two I've got match the hatch sort of I'm mixing and matching it to be honest just see if I can get any different results but to be honest I think it'll just be the same outcome if we do get a fish either way and I've got a little small little blob of putty there I do do favor putting a little bit bit more putty than needed on there I want it to sink really fast so that is pretty much the approach I've got and Let's get this out there and uh, see if we can get some carp. So one of the main reasons why I have the bead for probably six inches is because you've got slight underlying weed, little bits, little bits of Canadian. I mean, that's fine. There's no no problems there with the rig arrangement amongst that but I do like to every now and again if it was any deeper than that I would extend the bead probably to 10 11 inches but that's fine I mean I've picked probably some of that up as I bought the the rig back in but in general that is one of the reasons why I have the bead normally on there and the silt again it's not too deep to be honest and I'm not using a heavy lead so it sort of lends itself to the arrangement and the setup. But that sun's absolutely glorious at the moment. Well, that's all the rods there. That sun is absolutely glorious at the moment. Really nice. Got them all spaced out just in this sort of middle area of the lake. 
a lot of anglers on this lake do tend to favour the margins near the snags and the sort of tree lines but I've gone for a different approach I'm just going for the sort of central body of the lake like I said I've put three or four kilo of oilies spread around there and I've just literally just dropped all three rods around there I've got two on a match the hatch and one is on a fluoro and when I first turned up this morning there was quite a lot of sort of mist coming off the lake there's a little bit on it at the moment but I think it's going to be a glorious day it's going to be about 21 22 degrees and although I haven't seen any signs of fish I'm I'm confident for a bite sort of bite times between sort of four in the morning till 11 o'clock some there is occasions where you might get them later on in the afternoon but generally speaking it's it's pretty much textbook carp fishing it's you know early morning bites and then as you get to the afternoon time it sort of dies off a little bit I'm tempted to put a little bit of bait in but I'm going to hold back just in case this fish in the area I'm, after putting the three leads out there I don't want to cause any more disturbance so yeah it's uh, it's been a very quiet few weeks on the lake from what I've been told not many fish have been coming out fishing really slow at the moment I mean it's not a runs water by any means it's it's a tricky little water but putting that bait in you know three or four kilo I'm hoping it's done the business a few hours into the session probably got a couple of hours left and I've seen the odd movement on the surface but I wouldn't really say I'm that confident for a bite to be honest I thought putting that bait in it was going to be it to miss you know with people fishing the snaggy areas and me being in sort of unknown territory to be honest because I don't normally fish the middle of the lake it's normally margins a few rod lengths out but in general I mean you know it's going to be one of them it's going to be 50 50 whether we get a bite or not i haven't seen any jumping fish or feeding fish anywhere i've had a little look around the corner of the trees and stuff and try to get a good view down the bottom end of the lake and can't see anything there either it's pretty pretty slow at the moment we've had it's been a mixed bag of weather over the past few weeks we've had really hot sunshine you know 30 degrees week after that you've got lots of rain heavy winds then the week after that it's warm you know it's it's up and down the weather at the moment and today you know it's absolutely glorious sunshine at the moment but i think it might be a bit of a blank to be honest but you know you've got to try these things putting the bait in putting yourself in with a chance because on mature gravel pits like these sometimes you can pub chuck a couple of single up baits and get a fish but in general it is you're better off doing a bit of pre-baiting sort of setting yourself up for your sessions to come because you know these aren't easy waters they they can be fairly productive at times but generally speaking they are tough waters and we're speaking to a couple of the lads telling me that the lake's not fishing that well it's going to be it was always going to be 50 50 to be honest but and i've seen no fish on the surface either which is quite strange because normally when you get some warm temperatures on this lake you do tend to see the odd fish moving through the surface but at the moment no nothing and i was tempted to have a little winding and walk around the snags but i'm just going to stay put because you never know it's, it, this lake can be unpredictable at times you can spend all day blanking then all of a sudden you get like a 10 minute feeding spell even in the afternoon in like 30 odd degrees so i'm a little bit yeah i'm up and down at the moment the rigs are all bang on baiting's all right it's just if we're going to get anything but i think there's one lad at the top end of the lake other than that it's a really quiet couple of days from what i've heard so yeah only time will tell mm, might be a bit of a blank i'm not too sure so i've just been keeping an eye on the margins in the swim that i'm fishing which is literally just beyond this tree here i'm literally like 10 foot away from the rods and i have noticed a couple of fish coming through this margin just traveling so what I've done with the right hand rod, I've actually put it probably a rod length 
probably about there and these fish they're just patrolling i've seen about four or five fish just coming through slowly they're going all the way along past the peg that i'm fishing and you know it's put myself on the chance of catching a fish all i've done is i've put a single i put a fluoro on this time not not match the hatch and i'm hoping that that one bite if we don't get anything out in the middle of the lake i'm hoping that you know we could possibly pick one up but i'm seeing quite a few fish just coming through this margin area so all i've done is dropped it i think we've got probably four foot on the edge just there and i've put mine probably here which is about two or three foot fairly murky the water you can pretty much see your hook bait standing so it's in a nice clear area not too much weed because you do get the odd bit of weed which is patchy around here and then it sort of chamfers off a bit and you've got little clear areas here there and everywhere but so i've got the right hand rod just dropped in there and then any passing fish hopefully if we don't get anything in the middle we might have an opportunity there as well so just keeping just got covering all bases really yeah not long left now till we have to go but you never know might be a real chance Well, we've probably got an hour left. The sun is absolutely blasting now. I've seen, I have seen some fish moving on sort of on the edge of the baited area that I've been doing the pre-baiting on. And I'm a little bit confident, you know, it was definitely a fish and it was definitely a feeding fish. It came out, just jumped out, clearing the silt out its gills. And it looked like a really nice fish as well. And yeah, I mean, it's it's looking glorious today, it really is. Unfortunately, a glorious day don't mean you're going to catch anything, but I'm always, always confident. And that fish, it, it really came out. It wasn't a small fish, you know, showing its whole body. It was just showing the tip of its head and sliding down on its side. So it was a decent sized fish. And I, on the far margin, just there, saw a few bits of movement. I don't know if it was carp or tench, it was, it was one of them things where you, I just caught the back back end of it of them coming out of the water. So, but it seems like there's fish in the area. Normally you'd see the odd one on the margins, but seeing one on the edge of this baited area has really put my confidence high. I mean, to be honest, the first few hours when I turned up this morning, it was a little bit. I didn't know what to expect. To be honest, I really didn't because sometimes when you've put you know three four kilo of boilies in you you're confident you think right i'm gonna turn up catch one straight away but it doesn't always pan out that way but yeah we've got like i say about an hour left so i'm hoping crossing all my fingers and my toes that we can get one in the bag Well, we've got a fish, left hand rod went off, really slow, steady take, and yeah, didn't have much of a fight, to be honest. It's gonna be, well, it's definitely gonna be the biggest one out of the lake I've had. I'm guessing it might be one of the A-team. I'm not too sure yet, but that is a, uh, that's a cracking fish. That is a really nice fish, dead deep bodied, real big belly on it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like I say, whether it's one of the A-team, I'm, I'm not too sure, I'll have to ask one of the lads, but yeah, I didn't give much of a fart to be honest. Really slow, steady take. And uh, yeah, I'm all chuffed. Absolute cracking fish. So I'm not gonna mess around. It's really warm at the moment. So I'll get this fella back and then see if we can get any more in. But yeah, over the moon, wicked. Well, that's the end of the session. 
to be honest, I couldn't have asked for any more. I really couldn't. When I first turned up, I had a bit of an inkling that I might be a bit of a blank, but we finally managed to get one out of the bag. That lovely looking mirror, and it's my biggest one at the lake so far as well. So I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.